Hey folks, so today I wanted to focus a little bit on audio and specifically the audio editor in Articulate Storyline. We are looking at the audio editor specifically in Articulate Storyline 360, so you may see some features that uh, Storyline 2 does not currently have. So what we're going to do is I've added this audio track um, and I'm going to double click or select the audio editor. Um, from the options tab for audio tools. So the first thing I wanted to do is take a look at the volume of this file. It looks very loud. Um, if I play it, it's going to be a lot louder than I really want it to be. So in order for me to reduce the volume, I'm going to select command or control A to select all of it and then I'm going to select volume to adjust the volume of that selection and I'm going to reduce it by 50 percent. You just do that by dragging the um, slider. There we go and you can also increase the volume or you could increase the volume at certain points. So say we've got this uh, quiet point right here. If we just want to um, increase the volume for that section, you just highlight and drag to where you want the selection to end, select volume, and we're going to increase it by 100%. So now you can see that that volume of the waveform has increased. So let's just listen to it. So you can clearly hear that it has increased in volume and then it decreases in volume. Um, another thing that you can do is you can add silence. Um, so if you wanted a gap, so you just select where you want the gap and then select silence and we'll insert five seconds of silence. So now we have five seconds of silence between these two portions of the waveform. And that's a really great thing to know about because sometimes uh, voiceover artists may, um, if they're recording something like a question um, and then they go right into a response, you might want to separate those a little bit. Um, depending on your needs. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you is that you can import additional audio files inside of an existing track. So you can do this by importing and we're going to select a different audio file. We're going to add that in here. And so now you can see we're going to go from one audio file to the next. And then if you want to delete that portion that you just added in, just highlight it and select delete. You can also crop audio. So say I only want this end of my audio file. You're going to highlight the section that you want to get rid of, um, or rather, sorry, the section that you want to keep. Oops, one moment, bear with me. The section that you want to keep and then select crop. And now we just have that section of the waveform. And so those are some quick ways of using your audio editor. Now, before we go, I wanted to show you one more thing. So I'm just going to hit save and close. You do this when you want to, uh, you've got your audio file where you want it to be and you want to save it. And another great thing that you can do, it's uh, very similar to uh, if you had an image on the slide and then you wanted to swap it out for another image, you usually right click and then select, there's a, a change picture um, selection. So much like that, you can also swap out audio. So all you have to do is select your audio file on the timeline, select change audio, Go down to the new audio file that you want and it will automatically go through the process of swapping out that audio file. 
So those are just a few things that I thought might come in handy when you're working with the audio editor in Articulate Storyline. It's not the most robust tool, but it is pretty robust in functionality in terms of um, an audio editor within an authoring tool. So you can do quite a bit without having to go external to another software program.